What's up everyone, this is Kevin Skinner Jr. and today we'll be talking about why I think no one should be investing in CDs. So let's get started. So for those of you guys who are new in investing and just want a quick summary for what an actual CD is or certificate deposit is, it's basically an investment vehicle that you can lock up a sum of money for as little as uh, one to three months or if you want to do it in the long term, you can do it from five to ten months or anywhere in between. So typically the longer you lock up the money, the higher the interest rate is. Once you agree on the term of the CD, usually you lock in the rate. So if you wanted to say do a one year CD, you will lock in the, at the interest rate at the time so it doesn't fluctuate throughout. So if you actually get a CD through the bank, it is actually FDIC insured up to a quarter of a million of dollars. So CD interest rates are usually based off of three things. The first one is how long or the length of time the CD actually is for. So like we talked about, whether that's a one month or a five month, you can be paid a different interest rate on top of that. The second one is just the interest rate environment. If we have pretty low rates right now, of course you're not gonna be making that much out of CDs, but if you are, have pretty high interest rates, you're gonna be getting more from your actual CD. The third thing CDs are based off of is the expected rate of return that the bank can make off of using your money. So if the banks are expecting to make a lot more money using your money, they will then in return be able to give you a higher interest rate. So over the decades, we have seen tons of different interest rates when it comes to CDs. For example, in the 80s, they were super high and even passing a 10% return on a one year CD. And if you think about it in today's term, that is mind blowing. And when you compare that to a couple years ago, such as 2017 or 2018, a one year CD was only going for three quarters of the percent, which is just crazy to think about in the 80s and the time between how much CDs and interest rates have fluctuated. The best rates that I could personally find were only a 2.15 or all the way up to a 2.41. So you could definitely shop around through different banks, but relatively speaking and looking at our historical averages, they are still really low when it comes to CDs. So if CDs have a guaranteed rate and they're also insured so you won't lose any of your principal with FDIC, why am I personally saying that no one should be investing in CDs and that they're an awful investment vehicle? Well, there's several reasons and some of those reasons are first off, you're actually losing money when you account for inflation. So the inflation for 2019 was a 1.76%. While the highest national average for a one year CD for 2019 was only a 1.5%, so you're losing that slight difference between inflation while investing in your CD. The second reason why is CDs are not liquid. So say for example, your car breaks down and you use this every day to get to work, if it's gonna cost you several thousand dollars to replace or update the transmission and you need to go into your CD to pull out that money, you're actually gonna be penalized. The final reason why I don't like CDs is because the interest rates are so low. You have so much other opportunities out there to take that money that you would have used for the CD, invest that elsewhere. So, and that leads us into our other part of the video where we talk about different alternatives you can invest in rather than just investing in the CD. So if you're seriously considering a CD, I would highly advise against that. There's a bunch of other alternatives. I think the one that actually mimics a CD uh, the best is actually a high yield savings account or a, a money market account. So I personally uh, invested in both and have both accounts open. And right now I have a high yield checking account or savings account with uh, Robinhood and that actually pays me a 1.8%. Uh, annual and then also I have a Capital One which pays me a 1.7% high yield interest rate uh, savings account and then Ally Bank which comes in at a 1.6. So you're getting a slight difference but also these are savings accounts so I can pull out money whenever I want and also I get deposit more money. So yeah I'm not going to be locked in at a rate but I'd much rather have that flexibility of taking out money whenever I want. Say for example with that uh, car emergency example that I used previously in the video or if I just need it for some other emergency, I always have that option to. And for me, that gives me a lot more comfortability. I know some people will see the difference in the interest rates and think that's gonna be a huge difference, but it's really not. When you think, for example, a CD for one year at a 2.15% versus the Robinhood, for example, that comes in at 1.8, you might see those difference in the interest rate and be like, wow, that's a, that's a big difference, especially when you invest a lot of money. But for example, when you invest $10,000 over a year, that's only a $35 difference investing in a CD versus Robinhood. So for me personally, it's not worth the extra $35 locking up my money for a year. And like I said, you never know what life's gonna throw at you and you might need that money. 
if you're more interested in making more money and taking out more risk, there's of course other possibilities out there. Instead of putting your money into the CD, you can invest in, say for example, the S&P. Since about 1957, the S&P has been averaging an 8% return. Another possibility is investing in real estate. So right here is my renovated unit. It's a three unit in Chicago. And after the renovations, I'm actually going to be making $1,700 every month and then on top of that I'm actually living here for free. The third alternative instead of investing in a CD and taking on more risk is starting a business. A business can be a great way to make a lot more money than you typically would with those really really small interest rates that you get when it comes to a CD. And that brings us to our sponsor of the video Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers memberships with meaning. Skillshare offers classes designed for your real life so you can learn from short classes that fit with your busy routine. There's tons of great topics and content on Skillshare, and some of the ones that personally caught my eye was freelance and entrepreneurship, productivity, and marketing. So I personally took the class called Entrepreneurship Hustle from Business Plan to Real Success. This class was very detailed and did a great job explaining the steps in creating a business, and especially when it comes to opening a restaurant. The video was very high quality and made it easy to follow. One thing I like most about this, it actually gave me actual steps to take in order to start up a business where some other content and sources out there don't actually give you this clear of directions. So check out Skillshare for yourself. Click on the link below in the description box to get two free months of the premium membership and start exploring your creativity. Skillshare is super affordable too, so once the two months are up, yearly plans go for less than $10 a month. So once again, thank you to the sponsor and making it possible for you guys to watch these types of videos. So all in all, this is why I believe that no one should be investing in CDs. Just because the interest rates are so low, there's so much better opportunities out there. Rather you want to stay with a low risk and do a high interest rate savings account, or if you want to take out more risk and have better returns with starting your own business or restaurant. Tell me down below if you guys agree with my reasoning why no one should get a CD, why or why not. If you guys have any other video suggestions, leave them down below in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is your financial tutor, Kevin Scanlon Jr., signing off. Peace.